All right, I'm going to do a speed test here. Yosemite versus El Capitan. I've got two of the exact same model white MacBooks. There are the 2009 2.13 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, and I've got them upgraded with 4 gigs of RAM. We're going to restart both of them at the exact same time. See which one wins here. Yosemite on the left, El Capitan on the right. Yosemite. El Capitan just press restart on both of them. So far it's looking pretty even. Again Yosemite on the left. Got El Capitan on the right. 10.11 and 10.10. .10. You got the desktop up and running here on the left. El Capitan on the right, still booting. It's like about 14 seconds difference there. And I'm going to do a test where I open up Word at the exact same time on both. So Yosemite won that restart test. Here's Word, same time on both. There we go. Yosemite is already up and running. Let's open up a document. Here's a Word document we're typing. About a five second, six second difference there. Yosemite quicker again. Now again, both of these computers, same exact specs. They're the 2009 model. white MacBook. They've been upgraded to 4 gigs of RAM. We'll try one more. Go with iTunes. iTunes on both. Yosemite on the left, El Capitan on the right. And iTunes opened a little bit faster on the El Capitan. But my personal preference for this, I like Staying with Yosemite over El Capitan, you saw the boot time was a lot faster. I think Yosemite is a lot faster for these older computers. If you have something uh, before a 2010 computer, especially 2009s, maybe even the 2010s, stay with Yosemite. Do not upgrade to El Capitan. Do not upgrade to the new Sierra. And uh, so Yosemite is the winner here. I'm going to do another video with the newer MacBook Pro. Also testing the El Capitan uh, versus the newest Sierra, Mac OS Sierra 10.12. So be looking for that video as well. And we'll see which one of those wins. Alright, thanks for watching.